Hey, everybody, we're back. It is a beautiful Monday, April 19th. It's National Hanging Out Day. And it's time for the wise guys and girl and Coach Carly, sponsored by Kmart, the best in defunct retail. Love where you're locked down. As always, let's start with Sir and the weather. Not a bad Monday at all. Currently 11 degrees, working our way up to a high of 15 under a mix of sun and cloud. Chance of rain later today. And temperatures will be dropping substantially in the next couple of days. Right on. Well, it's National Volunteer Week. You know, a gentle nudge for us to keep providing support to organizations vital to our communities. And we'll kick off this week with National Hanging Out Day. That's something we can't really do. Although we could meet in a playground, apparently. Since we can't hang out, let's shift our focus to hanging out laundry. Uh, did you know clothes dryers account for an astonishing 10% of residential energy consumption? That and surfing the internet is the other 90%. Well, last week uh, in our week off, Rain and I had to tackle laundry that had piled up. We counted it, we called it Mount Washmore. And we had a huge debate as to whose turn it was to load the washing machine. Finally, I threw in the towel. <laughs> And the wash cycle was done. The debate continued as to whose turn it was to put the lottery away. But eventually I folded. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm glad you folded because I normally just get the big heap of, oh, here's your laundry, and it's all heaped up in a big pile. Um, you know, and then it, there's always somebody else's uh, socks intermixed with mine. Like, like you know. <laughs> I, I'm so not used to, I was used to quality service. My mother was exceptional when it came to laundry. She would actually get up the iron and press even uh, the undergarments. Uh, they were exquisite and all oh. categorized in the drawer. It, you know it was, what? Almost, it was an art. It was an art. A big shout out to my dad. He's actually one that does that. He, he irons everything, even his undershirt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they, must, they must have gone to the, the same school of, uh, <laughs> of laundry preparation, you know? That, there should be in that, like an Academy Award for that quality of service, you know? Yeah, then, for sure, for sure. And for me, I don't, I purchase clothes based on whether or not I, <laughs> I have to iron them. <laughs> <laughs> so I got my laundry back this morning and I go, how is this possible? I got three solo socks none of them even remotely close to matching. I go, you know, like, I get it if you put a, a black sock with another black sock and one's Calvin Klein and the other one's, you know, uh, through the loom, you just, a quick matching. But I mean, we're talking like a gray, a white and a black sock, different lengths. And it's like, where are the other three? I bet you somebody else has the same three socks. <laughs> like the uh, Mars <laughs> Rover picked up a, uh, a photo of <laughs> all these errant socks ended up oh mercy well it's time for some music let's get to tunes with tamik tamik what are we listening to today dirty laundry by don henley right no no but in um in honor of national hangout day and you said national volunteer week yes which i didn't know it was but this kind of dovetails really well together I'm looking, I'm listening to, sorry, Strawberry Fields Forever by the Beatles. It, it's one of those songs that it's just like, it's got that vibe that you're just kind of, I don't know, just going with the flow. And when I looked at the, I guess, like, like why Lennon wrote this song, um, it was based on um, his childhood memories of playing in the Garden of Strawberry Fields at a Salvation Army children's home in Liverpool. So, but even when you're singing, when you're listening to the song um, or singing it, um, it does make you feel like you're that kid running through the fields carefree, just not having to think. Basically, all you're listening for is your parents telling you to come in and get lunch. You know what I mean? So I, I, I love the vibe of that song and just that feeling of, you know, the strawberry feels forever. Just like you can still be a kid. You can still run through the fields, as, uh, especially, of course, now that they have decided not to prosecute people that are going to um, oh, I can tell you his aunt probably started strip off him when he came in with all that dirty laundry from that listen, listen. There's, there's probably another whole song involved with uh, the retribution that, you know. exactly all those mud stains and grass grass stains are the worst I remember as a kid that was one thing your parents could never get out was grass stains but yeah. um, 
Well, they don't have to worry about it nowadays because they all wear the jeans with the knees all ripped out. Like, yeah. Like you're being attacked by flying. So, laundry <laughs> becomes a rip. You were talking about picking items that avoid like extra laundry. Well, that's the prime one. First exactly. of all, there's no knees to get grass stains. Exactly. There, how do you how do you iron three threads? Is what I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I remember in grade eight uh, getting grass stains on my jeans in school, and the principal was really upset. Monsieur Barbeau was not having any of that, and he hauled three of us who had grass stains into his office and showed us the shiny strap. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Uh, he was not happy. All that for, they didn't get in Jamaica. They didn't play around in Jamaica either. Like, I used to have beads in my hair as a kid, and even, like, the beads were multicolored. And they sent me home because it had to be the colors of the school. Because I used wow. to go to Wilmer's, eh, Ventura? I went to Wilmer's prep school. But yeah, I'd take out them beads. Well, the good thing is, is James uh, got himself out of trouble because he said he got the grass stains because they were praying. And he got the <laughs> Catholic school. <laughs> James, did you lie to your principal? Uh, after I stopped crying. <laughs> <laughs> so on another related note, I've actually been to Strawberry Fields, and oh. the gates are absolutely beautiful. And there actually is still the original Strawberry Fields sign that's painted in red and white lettering mm. on that nobody's thankfully stolen. But yeah. the actual beautiful old orphanage has been knocked to the ground. So it's just like this open field behind yeah. this beautiful gate. Um, but yeah, huge tourist draw. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a good... I think it's a good reminder that it really is important as a kid to be able to go outside and just be free, you know? Um, and it's still something that kids want. Like, as much as we have all this, you know, video games and, and all these things, like, that, just that being outside and just running around a field, you don't necessarily need a slide or anything like that swing. You just need that feeling of just being free, so. Speaking of hanging out, did you ever see the hangout with uh, Paul McCartney and James Corden when they went through uh, Liverpool uh, doing the karaoke and they stopped in at the hairdresser and oh, all, I didn't all, the, that all the places from the, the Penny Lane song. No, I, I have to see that one. Yeah, it was so cool because here, here's this lady doing somebody's hair in walks Paul McCartney and like she like practically drops the curling iron, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, that's 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 the thing for today. Just put it on and just. Um, I asked Ventura what, what was one of his, and he also t said Lenny Kravitz, uh, "Getaway." It's Getaway, yeah. Getaway, yes. and that's another one where it just feels very just almost psychedelic, just like the. Well, you know, you know what I associate that now with is what? you ever seen Ice Pilots? No. Uh, West Territory. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's the opening tune. So every time I see a plane, I think of Lenny Travis. Yeah. So either one, either one um, would be a good choice for today. But you know what? If you have a backyard, if you are legally able to go and walk down the street, <laughs> if you're in a grassed area, take that time today just to feel a little bit more free. Take a deep breath behind your mask. <laughs> and, <laughs> And just, you know, connect with nature. It's important. It's important. Excellent. Great, great tune. Great advice. Hey, Venturo, it's time for you. It's time for Ventures with Venturo. What have you got for us today? You know, the typical Monday motivation. This Today I decided to go way back to one of those great Roman emperors, right? So Mr. Marcus Aurelius, the quote comes from him today. And it's like this. When you arise in the morning, Think of what a privilege it is to be alive. To think, to enjoy, to love. That's the quote from Marcus Aurelius. I know we're a bit down because of everything that's happening with COVID and when will it be over and we're stressed and we're starting a new quadmester, but guys, it's a beautiful thing to be alive right now. Just let that sink in and enjoy this beautiful week. That's it from Ventures with Venturo. Excellent. You're going to give it to us in Latin. <laughs> 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 all right speaking of getting fit and getting out there it's time for coach carly coach carly what's on for this week hi everyone it's coach carly i'm here today to share with you my love of pilates i am a full fully certified pilates instructor 
And I also have an in-home Pilates studio. So the reason why I love Pilates. So Pilates um, was invented by um, Joseph Pilates in the early 1900s. And it was a method adopted to um, train athletes and dancers because they found it enhanced their performance, helped prevent injuries, and improve um, their movement. So now that's become more mainstream. Um, it has been found to increase your core stability and strength, um, help to gain long, lean muscles and improve your flexibility. It can help with back pain. Um, it also helps stabilize your spine and improve your posture. And I like to think of Pilates as good for anybody, whether you're an athlete, a dancer, a anyone who loves movement um, it can be used for rehabilitation from an injury it's really good for every type of body and at any age and that is why i love pilates thank you for listening this is coach carly right on thanks coach carly okay it's monday time for monday's mystery you know I kept thinking, is there any difference between doing the laundry and watching tabloid headline news? You know, they both have uh, dirty, stinky laundry going round and round and round. I keep watching until we get bored and then we just walk away. <laughs> Let's get that Don Henley tune out there. Right on. Well, that is it for us, everybody. Thanks to our fans and friends and odds and ends for listening. Have a great Monday and a great start to your week. We are the wise guys and girls leaving you smarter and happier than you were yesterday.